What's up, YouTube? LND here. Uh, today we're gonna be playing some more FNAF World, so let's do this shit. Um, I started a thing for hard mode, as you can see here. I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, I'm not going to try to do a hard mode and the clock ending, um, because it's just too hard. And I kind of messed up with doing it on a separate normal mode, so I'm gonna restart that real quick. Um, so, for the hard mode one, I'm just going to quickly uh, go through and uh, re. I don't know. I'm just going to quickly go through the story off screen. I'm not going to do anything on screen um, for that one. And then this, I'll, I'll just. I'll get to the clocks and stuff. And that's all you're going to see is the me getting to the clock. Where it is. I'm not going to show me walking to it or why well, I, I mean I am but I'm not I'm not going to do like a 40 minute long video of me doing this ending not to mention there's a bunch of grinding that's going to take place in between anyway now for this first one but you don't really believe that do you there's a task for you to complete you have to leave breadcrumbs for him to help him find his way um, this this first one here doesn't have anything um, it it doesn't affect anything at all there's no clock for that one the first one isn't until you actually get into the game and I believe I believe the way it works is you can find the clocks as long as you don't go into the um, the sanctuary like area. Seems awfully easy. <clears throat> they seem like I feel like that one was a little too easy. I don't know if these these characters got better stats for some reason or Um So we'll go talk to him real quick and then we'll go get the clock, which I know where the first like three are. I think I found a clue as to what's happening. Look behind me. There is a tree that is distorted and glitch. You don't know as much as I do, but I will tell you this safe is a safe haven, a sanctuary. Whatever has gone wrong, we have to fix it. It will be an adventure. Something horrible must have happened on the flip side because it's causing this world to fracture. Objects like the tree behind me have broken. But I think you can use these fractures to get to places you couldn't reach before. You have to go and find the source of these fractures. Now, I'm going to start reading that too, because that one other one was kind of out of context. If you didn't know what the... Yes, the world beneath the surface world. This is a safe place, a sanctuary. The truth is that there is no safe place. You don't understand that. You are made for one thing. There is a task for you to complete. Before you follow this passage, go back and find the clock. Um. Yeah, they, the other one, the first one was out of context, not reading it. Now that I think about it, it was kind of dumb. But, uh, that's okay. I'll save real quick. Um. I am going to fight battles and stuff and grind probably just a little bit on screen like this because um, I didn't I don't want to make this a whole nother playthrough um, main purpose is to go and get the clocks I think for the first like three or so I'll just stick with going all the way through the path oh shit okay I gotta get this in the box here Okay, there we go. That's it. I'm done with that one. These things are actually really simple. But I feel like there's a few of them that you can mess up. That would be really bad. Because if you mess up and you don't do the things right. You could get to the ending. But not be able to get the ending. Because there's like some special portal or some bullshit that opens. At the beginning. Or at the, the end. I could probably just... Characters seem awfully strong. Like, they already have s better stats or something. I don't know. I kind of want to just not worry about skipping stuff. I don't know. I just don't want the, the to take too long. I can trim stuff out of it if I don't feel like. If I feel like it gets too long. I don't like to have 40 minute long videos of it. It just seems kind of 
I don't know, counterintuitive to the game and just... I don't know, maybe... Hey, I guess it's an RPG. I guess it would make a little bit more sense to have longer videos. I don't know. And again, that's just me. Although, pretty much when it comes to any game, if it's not a short game, I'd rather have a longer, like, longer videos. If you're trying to take a game with, a, like, two hours of playtime, you should split it up into, like, 20-minute videos. But if you're playing a game like Morrowind or Skyrim or, you know, anything like that, um, an hour-long video or so isn't, isn't actually that bad to watch because you're doing stuff the whole time. Okay, save, open this up. Okay, I believe this clock is in the dusting fields. Great, be sure to press the button behind you to clear the path for later. That way you won't have to take the long way again. I think that a lot of these monsters are misguided side effects of whatever has happened on the flip side. It looks like you can knock some sense into them and then they'll join you. How wonderfully convenient. You need to find another sub-tunnel under the game and it's probably hidden inside another glitched object. Ahead are the dusting fields. You will probably find the next glitched object there. Be careful, things only get more dangerous from here. I believe that's where the next thing is. Things don't get more dangerous, you're being played. You're being led through hoops, meanwhile the puppet master is laughing at you. You do need to find the dusting fields, but not because there's any urgent adventure ahead. Find the clock. Ah, uh, cause I, d I don't know anything about this clock ending, so... Uh, I'm curious of why it's so important that we find these clocks. I don't, I don't, I don't know, like pretty much anything at all as what happens with um, this particular ending. I noticed something too. It seems weird. It's like a really dumb thing to notice, but I feel like the characters, their idle stances and stuff, how they like bounce up and down and stuff doesn't seem like they do it as fast anymore like after the update it's slowed down I actually had to check that out later um, see if that's actually a thing it's actually really nice not to have the fucking attack and shit drowning everything I'm saying out because there's so much of it going on um, I probably play this game a couple more times through or something in a uh, in my free time, but I plan on getting these last two endings and besides the updates and stuff, um, probably going to be done. It's actually something curious to me. I was looking through the source page stuff on FNAF, or FNAFworld.com for the image, and I noticed the font sizes for the text are completely separated, and there's the font sizes are three and two. So mark my words, this update isn't coming out until March 2nd. That's what I believe. So. Yep, I was okay. The clock is in here. I believe this is... I had to push these in a certain order. And it's upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right. Um, I, I don't I, I have done. I have done parts of this before. Up to the third one, which is in the, um, the cave up here. Yeah, the mysterious caverns for this spot. Um, <clears throat> but I felt like I don't know that it would the how I had it was so drawn out and I was so angry about going through the hard mode version of the game and I don't know I couldn't I I didn't want to feel like I was being an asshole about the game so and these guys are taking a while to kill. Ugh. And this is a problem, too. I'm in the dusting fields, and I got two clocks already. Well, one. But I'm already ten minutes into the video. And I would... I, w I don't... I don't want this... Want this to be a 40 minute long video. I... I'm going to split... Split it up. Oh, shit. Okay. I need to start paying attention when this shit goes on. There we go. And I'm pretty sure we're good. Um... I'm, I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just record um, a few smaller videos, three or four, because I know what I'm doing and I can grind off screen anyway when I need to. Like, this is probably a time I'll have to grind off screen. Um, 
Of course, I'll leave the 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 video going and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna actually run from that fight. Um, because I know bouncers up there. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna jump back to one. I'm gonna grind for a little bit off screen, and um, I'll come back and I'll end the video here at about 25 minutes. Um. And then I'll start up a new one right away. I think I I'm sure I can get this done, and I'm sure I, I I'm sure I can get this play this playthrough real quick done in about an hour and a half or so maybe. Um, especially if you know I decide to cut some stuff out, which I might just have to do. I, I'm one of those people, I really don't like to cut stuff if I absolutely don't have to. I think it's a, a waste. If you say something stupid, you might as well just put it in there like... I don't know. I say stupid shit all the time. I don't cut it out, I leave it in there. It's part of who I am, I say stupid shit sometimes. <laughs> one thing, one thing that's good is got some snow last night and some is a fucking understatement but I mean I like snow but I had to walk in it a lot I fucking hate walking in snow especially when it's that wet shit alright you know what I think I'm actually gonna grind out here in the dusting fields um, so I'll be back in probably like five or ten minutes so back when my recording says about 17. Alright guys, went a little bit over the time I was going to. That's okay, got a new character showing up here. Um, I don't know if I leveled up very much. I don't know how much it'll be a help to fighting um, um, Bouncer. Um, I'm just going to stick with playing it normally I think I feel like I'll be happier with myself if I just don't cut as much out and I go through the battles and stuff even though it's pretty repetitive but um this is the game right this what I'm the battles I'm doing and stuff it's what the game is so I feel kind of stupid cutting what the major part of the game is out like that there's no reason to really do it. Um, it just means that it's going to take a little bit longer to get through the ending, which is okay with me. There are large amounts of times that I can sit and grind off screen without having to worry about doing anything. Save here real quick. The subtunnel must be up ahead. However, it looks like something is blocking the path. I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. You d I do want need to warn you of something though. When you enter a glitched object into a subtunnel, it's possible to find yet another glitched object inside. That will take you into a subtunnel beneath the subtunnel. There may even be more glitched objects there. Just be sure never to go more than three glitches down. I'm not sure if you'd find your way back up. Be sure to always search for new chips and bites. It will be a huge help against monsters like the one up ahead. Which I did get a, uh, a new chip. By the way, as a head start, I don't. I think that just gives me the first attack in a battle. Put it along for now. You are being pulled on a string for his amusement. Don't enter the glitch yet. You need to get into the mine. Find the clock. Go into the mine. Okay. Um. What was that nightmare balloon phantom balloon boy that I got there? I wish that new update would come out already, but I'm still banking my money. And it's not going to come out until the second of March. Okay, let's take on Bouncer. Okay. We'll set everything up good. Yeah, I it looks like it looks like that gives me the first attack. That wasn't too bad. Okay, switch team. There we go. That's that was some excellent timing there. That move does a lot of damage right now. So I gotta pay attention for that. Drop some more hot cheese, get that going finally. Um I don't think this this isn't going too bad. I can probably start laying actual attacks on now. Um, I'll probably keep going on with Munchies though for 
Toy Bonnie. So. Okay. 22 would be... Damn! Um, I'm trying to think. I stopped at 12 and I went till about 18. So that shaves, what, 6 minutes off my time, so... At 26, it'll be 20. So I can go until about 32. It's about where I'll stop. I think the clock is right here. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, we just gotta push these in here. No problem for the Freddy. There we go. And then we can head over to... I believe that, that one takes us to Lily Gear, actually. Um, oh, there's a, there's a chip in here that I want, though. There is a... What is it? Um... The auto gift box, I believe, is in here. So I'm going to get that real quick while we're in here. Although I forgot where to fucking go. Okay, it's up one more. Oh, it looks like... Oh, I was going to say, it looks like Garfield's getting up finally, but nope. Okay. This this guy isn't that bad. When I fought him in the, the other game, he I took him down pretty easily. I think my team was even weaker then than it is now. I think he has about the same stats as um, Bouncer does. Seems to be doing just a, like a, maybe a little bit less damage than Bouncer was doing. Although he has like unscrew, I think, which sucks. I hate that enemies can know that move. I actually kind of hate that it's in the game. I mean, I'll use it if I need it, but like grinding that moves that moves for grinding for characters and stuff is like an absolute must. Psych. And you're not taking out. That was my healer, too, that they were going for. I can lay down quite a bit of these poppers here. I'm surprised that it doesn't look like Cheese is doing any damage. There we go. I didn't even notice he was about to die there. But we're in for some good... Good here. Oh, yeah. Level that baby up. I ran into, um... What is it? The puppet in this mine which sucked. It's so hard to fight those characters this early on. Um, I probably what I'll probably do is I'll probably get the Lily Gear, and I can probably I don't know where the clock is in that one, so I'm gonna have to look that up. So I'll probably end it there. Okay, we can just jump out of here. Um. trying to think here. I mean, you know what? I think I'll go until 30, so when this goes to 36. But I am going to have to go and look that up real quick, so I'll shave some other some more time off. I think probably 30 minutes is about as good as I can do right now without making it overdrawn. But I'm going through the game pretty quickly here, so... I think the only spot that really becomes a pro problem, excuse me, um, is the the um, the circus tent, uh, pinwheel circus, I believe, is what it's called. Um, that's that's when the area you need to start having better um, um, characters on your team and stuff. I probably can. After I get this too, I'm gonna save before I talk to Fredbear. And then, did I pass that object already? No, it's this one right here, right? Yep. Um, before I talk to Fredbear, I'll go find out and make sure exactly where that clock is, because I don't want to. I won't, don't want to risk doing something that ruins me being able to get that ending. Otherwise, this whole entire thing will be for naught. Except for, I guess I could. I can use this footage for the other stuff, and then when I get to it, I can just go all the way through it real quick and not have to worry about showing anything on camera because you guys already know where this stuff will be at. And I know it sounds stupid, but those those um, those um sub-tunnels can become completely useless. Like, later on, there's like pretty much no reason to use them after... 
to get all the areas. So I'm just going to unlock this real quick. Alright guys, I will be right back. I'm going to go check to see where this clock is. It won't take me more than probably like a minute or so to figure it out how to get it and where to go and stuff. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm pretty sure I know where it's at and shouldn't have no problem. So You've reached Lily Gear Lake. From here, I don't know where your adventure will take you. You should be keeping your eyes open for other another glitched object. They are the only way to get to places that are otherwise unreachable. Be careful in the waters of Lily Gear Lake. I hear there is a sea monster that attacks at random. Be ready to fight. Good luck. That's um Seagoon. Which I didn't I don't know if I read that in my first playthrough. I don't remember seeing that. Yes, well everything attacks at random, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess that's true. The one who pulls the strings is always watching. He allows you to progress. Follow the trail that they have created for you. Play along. There is another mine that you must find before you enter the glitch object. Find the clock. Alright, and this one consists of standing on the middle block in, in this clock. Um, I'm surprised on how far I've gotten within 30 minutes of this game. If you go from one point to the next without dilly-dallying... Okay, I'm going to try to run from these guys for now. Or I'm going to sit here and press the run button forever. This is something Scott truly needs to work on. Is the, the amount of battles. And, um... Uh, how, how often you can run from somebody. Which is actually something that makes me think. I've been binge watching um, GT Live and their um, playthrough of uh, the Earthbound Halloween hack. And oh boy, that game is awesome. I never played Earthbound as a kid. I never had a Nintendo system as a kid, actually. I was a, a Sony guy. Um, but it, it really does. That Earthbound. It, the humor in it, I love the humor. It's awesome. I don't. I, it's been it's been quite a while since I laughed that much at a game. I'm actually gonna go fight this auto chip. Oh, I can't get to him. Never mind. I want wanted that chip. Okay, so I'm kind of at a loss. I don't know if the clock shows up on here at all. Now this this um this little bit in here is important to me actually. Because I believe she has the... Oh, the, the eye, the... The things that fight specifically the um, bosses. Which is going to be a huge help. I don't know if there's a boss in this ending either. Or if it's just... I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I tried... I've been trying to um, stay away from watching stuff on it for this particular reason so I can do everything myself um, besides knowing how to do and get the endings and what to do to make sure I can get them I don't know what they do and stuff I forgot these these guys are pretty freaking strong uh, but they give uh, I think these ones the quarries give a lot of experience and um, gold mine, I think, is what they're called. The golden versions of these guys give a lot, a lot, a lot of um, the Faz tokens or Fazbear tokens or whatever they're called. I forgot. I can, I can shave. No, I, I, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get this clock, and when I get this clock, I'm going to um, end this one here, so it's not too long. And then maybe stop the recording and get everything reset up. And then I'm going to, um, uh, let me think, uh, start a new video after I'm grind. I'm going to grind for a while and I'm going to start a new video. I'm just, I don't want to. All right. After this guy is out, or guess guy, after I beat him, I'll go and check where to go again. It's like, I forget. These guys are pretty strong. Well, I mean, they're not strong. They have a lot of HP. They don't They do not do that much damage. At least not anymore. Um. I don't, I don't quite remember how long I, s 
I stuck with my team in my other profile, but um, as long as this team doesn't start to get too bad, I'm just going to stay with them, so... I, I might I might grind off-screen for characters in two in between this and the next video. I'm not sure. It depends, depends on how I feel about it, because I spent, like, seven hours grinding for um, Fredbear. Alright, guys, I'll be right back real quick. Uh, once again, wander north. Once you're inside, take... A right and head south at the first intersection. Okay. All right, guys. I gotta go back. Actually, I'm supposed to go right at the first intersection. Okay. I need to actually get the frick out of here. Okay. Um. Let me just make sure this is okay. So this is right and then head south at the first intersection. I believe. I believe that's it. I'm just gonna dart away from these guys. Okay. Got a new challenger here. I think, I think we're good with Phantom Fox. I'm pretty sure we can take him down. And just get everything all set up here. And then, I'm not gonna worry about how long the video is it takes to get the clock. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to, after I get done with the clock, I'm going to get it. I'm gonna head back to, um, the first area. Actually, I probably should head back to the new area. Okay, there we go. Now, now they're okay. Um, I I don't know if I'll head back to maybe I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do. I probably should just go to the next area real quick. I believe it said south here. I don't know if I'm going the right way at all. Okay, I wanna. I just wanna get through this. I don't wanna fight no more guys. Come on, run, please, for the love of God, just run already. I don't know. Okay, new challenger appearing. It's Withered Freddy? Shit. I f actually forgot that I had the auto gift box. And somehow, Chica got hit by that. I didn't mean to do that. Alright guys, this video is going to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to have a choice. I'm going to have to just end it after this okay so apparently that doing that's not a good idea I don't like that he keeps using escape key though that's kind of bullshit it'd also be nice if like a hot cheese would actually start doing something jump scare him um, hopefully I can keep this going I I'm gonna Okay, that's a problem. Alright, there's no there's no reason to switch into my other team now. Okay, I didn't realize, but he had uh there we go. Toy Bonnie had a, a thing still. Alright, that, that noise was really weird actually. Alright guys, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm going to end it here, and I don't want the video to take too long, and it's going to be like quite a while before I find that clock, um, so I'm just going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.